Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. I am back to do a new release Tuesday video. Today I'm talking about books that come out on Tuesday, February 5th. So this is actually like a huge, I shouldn't say huge because it's not as big as like the fall new releases, but there are a lot of really exciting books coming out this week. So I actually have more than usual. Uh, so, you know, settle in. There's a lot. <laughs> So the first one that I have is probably the biggest and buzziest literary book of the month and that is Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James. This is the first book in his new fantasy trilogy. Tracker is known far and wide for his skills as a hunter. Engaged to track down a mysterious boy who went missing three years ago, Tracker ends up breaking his own rule about working alone and ends up with a group of people who are searching for this boy. The band is a hodgepodge full of unusual people with secrets of their own, including a shape-shifting man-animal known as Leopard. As Tracker follows the boy's scent, he and the band are set upon creatures who are intent on destroying them. As he struggles to survive, Tracker starts to wonder who exactly is this boy? Why has he been missing for so long? And why are so many people trying to stop Tracker from finding him? And perhaps the most important question of all, who's lying and who's telling the truth. So like I said, this is a highly anticipated book for a lot of people. Marlon James wrote the extremely popular and beloved book, A Brief History of Seven Killings, which came out a number of years ago. This is again, a new fantasy story that pulls from African history and mythology. So I feel like this one is going to be a good blend of both history and literary fiction. I'm very excited to dive into this one myself and I know a lot of people are as well. So again, that's Black Leopard, Red Wolf by Marlon James. So another book that is out today that a lot of people know about, uh, but it's finally out in physical form, and that is Binti, the Complete Trilogy by Nandi Okorafor. So Binti was originally a trilogy of novellas that was published online only, and now they've all been published in physical form, and this is basically like the collection or the omnibus of all three novellas together in one. So if you aren't aware, in this story you are following this character named Binti. She is a young Himba girl who has the the opportunity of a lifetime to ascend a prestigious university. Despite her family's concerns, Binti's talent for mathematics and astrolabs makes her the perfect candidate for this interstellar experience. But everything changes when there is an attack on Binti's spaceship and she is the only survivor. Now Binti must fend for herself alone on a ship with the people who murdered her crew with five days left until they reach their destination. If Binti is to survive this voyage and warn the people of the planet that houses the university, then it will take all of her knowledge and talents in order to broker peace. If you were a fan of the Binti novellas and have wanted it in physical form, or if you maybe haven't checked them out, if you don't have like an e-reader or anything like that, so you haven't been able to pick up the collection beforehand, or you are just looking for some good science fiction books. Uh, Binti, the complete trilogy, is out now. Next up I have Courting Darkness by Robin Lefevers and this is a new young adult fantasy duology. When Sibella accompanies the Duchess to France, she is expecting trouble but isn't expecting a deadly trap. Surrounded by enemies both known and unknown, Sibella is searching for undercover assassins from the Covenant of Saint Moran who were placed in the French court years ago. Genevieve has been undercover for so many years that she no longer knows who she is or what she's supposed to be fighting for. When she discovers is a hidden prisoner who may be of importance, she decides to take matters into her own hands. As these two worlds collide, the Duchess, Brittany, and everything that Sibella and Genevieve have come to love will hang in the balance. So this is, like I said, a new duology that is set in the same world as the His Fair Assassin series, which came out a couple of years ago from Robin Lefevers. I know a lot of people really enjoyed that young adult series. It's sort of along the same lines as like the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Moss and all that stuff. So if you enjoyed those sort of young adult fantasy series, then you can pick up a brand new one that is set in that world. And again, that is called Courting Darkness. Okay, next up, I have another young adult book. This one is highly anticipated by a lot of people, including myself, and that is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. 16-year-old Brie wants to be one of the greatest rappers of all time, 
or at least win her first battle. As the daughter of an underground hip-hop legend who died before he could make his big break, Brie has got big shoes to fill. But it's hard to get your come up when you're labeled as a hoodlum and school and your fridge sits empty when her mom loses her job. So Brie pours all of her anger and frustrations into a song which ends up going viral for all the wrong reasons. Brie soon finds herself at the center of a controversy, portrayed by the media as more menace than MC. But with an eviction notice staring her family down, Brie doesn't just want to make it, she has to. Even if that means becoming the very thing that the public has portrayed her to be. So Angie Thomas is the writer of the big huge hit, The Hate You Give, which is been at the top of the New York Times bestseller list since it came out. So I'm sure that a lot of people are aware of her. I am very excited to read another book from hers. From what I've heard from the people who are lucky enough to get an advanced copy of this book, this one is fantastic as well. So if you enjoy contemporary young adult books, if you loved The Kate You Give like I did, On the Come Up is out today. So another fun book that is out today is Stranger Things, Suspicious Minds by Gwenda Bond. This is the first official Stranger Things novel that has come out. It's the summer of 1969 and the shock of conflict reverberates through teenagers both here and abroad. As a student at a quiet college campus in the heart of Indiana, Terry Ives couldn't be farther from the conflicts of Vietnam or the protests in Washington DC. But the world is changing and Terry isn't content to just watch it from the sidelines. When word gets around about an important government experiment taking place in Hawkins, she decides to sign up. But behind the walls of the Hawkins National Laboratory lurks a conspiracy larger than Terry could have ever imagined. So if you are a fan of Stranger Things or maybe you're a fan of Gwenda Bond, she's done a lot of uh, recent like pop culture related books and retellings. I know she did like a Lois Lane related book that was like part of the DC imprint storylines. So she's really good at like taking existing worlds and expanding upon them a little bit. So yes, if you are a fan of Stranger Things yourself, or you just enjoy a good science fiction mystery type of book, then you can pick up Suspicious Minds by Gwenda Bond today. All right, next up I have Bowl Away by Elizabeth Kraken. From the day that she is discovered unconscious in a New England cemetery at the turn of the 20th century, nothing but a bowling ball, a candle pin, and 15 pounds of gold on her person, Bertha is an enigma to everyone in Salford, Massachusetts. She has no past to speak of, or none that she's willing to reveal, and her mysterious origin scandalizes and intrigues the townspeople, as does her choice to marry and start a family with Leviticus Sprague, the doctor who revived her. But Bertha is plucky, tenacious, and entrepreneurial, opening up a bowling alley and becoming one of the town's most most defining landmarks and Bertha its most notable resident. So this is one of those books that is on sort of like everyone's most anticipated lists of the year. I saw it on like Oprah Magazine, Entertainment Weekly, Publishers Weekly. It seems like the people who have read Elizabeth McCracken in the past really, really love her a lot. So if you are looking for a new literary fiction, family life, family saga sort of story to check out, Bowl Away by Elizabeth Kraken is out today. Next up, I have The Lost Man by Jane Harper. Brothers Nathan and Bub Bright meet for the first time in months at the remote fence that separates their cattle ranches in the lonely outback. Their third brother, Cameron, lies dead at their feet. Their homes are three hours apart, and yet they are each other's closest neighbors. Cameron was the middle child and the one who ran the family's homestead, but something made him head out alone in the unrelenting sun. Nathan Bub and Nathan's son return to Cameron's ranch and to the people he left behind. His wife, his daughter, and his mother, as well as longtime employees and two recently hired seasonal employees. While they grieve Cameron's loss, suspicions begin to take hold, and Nathan is forced to examine secrets the family would rather leave in the past. Because if someone forced Cameron to his death, there are a few suspects who could have done so. So this is a brand new standalone mystery from Jane Harper. Jane Harper has written a number of mystery books, including The Dry, which is one of my favorite mystery books that have come out recently. If you are someone who likes really good atmospheric mystery books, then Jane Harper is definitely an author you want to check out. You feel the heat of the Australian outback when you're reading her books. And this one is another one set in those loca that location. Uh, so yeah, you really get placed in 
the cities and towns that she places her mysteries in. So if you've been wanting to check out Jane Harper and you haven't yet, you can go ahead and pick up The Lost Man because it's a standalone and it is out today. All right, the final book that I have today is A People's Future of the United States, Speculative Stories from 25 Writers. Make that 25 extraordinary writers. <laughs> So this is a speculative fiction anthology that has been put together with a lot of really great names attached. Charlie Jane Anders, Q. Harari, Daniel Jose Older, G. Willow Wilson, N.K. Jemison, Catherine M. Valente. There's 25 on there. Go click on the link and check out everyone who's involved. But this is one of those collections where if you are a fan of speculative fiction, it would be really great to pick up because there are so many writers in here. You could potentially discover a new writer for you. This anthology has been put together by Victor Lavelle and John Joseph Adams. They asked for narratives that would challenge oppressive American myths, release us from the chokeholds of our histories, and give us new futures to believe in. So again, if you are a fan of speculative fiction, this is an anthology that you are going to want to pick up. And again, that's called A People's Future of the United States. All right, those are all of the books that I have to talk about in this video. Leave a comment down below letting me know which books you are super excited about, whether it's one of these books or if there's another book coming out today that you have on your list to pick up. Otherwise, I will see you guys again next Tuesday with another new release video. Bye.